Hey guys, okay, so I'm gonna do the introduction to this when I have makeup on and everything like a professional But just wanted to point out my lips are ratchet as hell. Please don't look at them. I'm on rack tan It makes my skin extraordinarily dry. Ignore that, please. And um, I did my eyebrows already. They're very Bold today. I don't know if I like it, but I'm gonna wait until I do all my makeup to decide and That's it. I'm gonna start um, Stealer one step uh, color correcting primer. Bobbi Brown foundation stick. Last night I went to watch the movie Denial with my parents and well with my mom and a friend. Um and can I just say, it was such a good movie. So it's about like Holocaust deniers. It was such a good movie. And I can't, what it made me realize again was the fact that this happened so recently and that's really scary. To think about you know the Holocaust was not that long ago how terrifying is that to think like you think that this is 2017 it's the modern day and this kind of thing is long gone but that's not true at all then um, I mean less than 20 years ago 17 years ago there were still people a massive amount of people who literally believed the Holocaust didn't happen and now in 2017 people still support Hitler people still think Jewish privilege is a thing and honestly it's so scary it's so scary to think that um, these kind of that kind of person still exists and what is scary, the most scary in my opinion, is seeing that movie and like the evil guy in it, the guy who who believes that um, that the Holocaust didn't happen and that Hitler was actually like a really chilled, awesome dude. Well, this is based on a true story, so this isn't fiction. This dude is so much like Donald Trump it's terrifying you know he has this ego and he just says things he doesn't care if they're true or not and then if someone insults him he threatens to sue them that's exactly the personality and um, I just think that that is insanely scary to think um, not to mention like there are still people in this day and age who believe that the Holocaust didn't happen and that Hitler was an awesome guy. I'm gonna use under my eyes, I'm gonna use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I've had this for so long and it's almost empty. It's one of my holy grail concealers and I know that people don't really use it or talk about it much anymore, but it's still like my thing. I love it. So, Um, yes, my point is that you guys should go and see that movie. It's quite scary and like they have a lot of views of Auschwitz and that's again terrifying and it's a really like emotional place, obviously. But yeah, I think that it is a movie worth seeing because it, it brings up so much debate and in my opinion that's not a bad thing like I know that there are people out there who think that you shouldn't have that kind of conversation because it's sad or because it brings back bad memories but I think that's ridiculous I think that things like this still need to be talked about because you know there are still people in 2017 who are anti 
anti-Semites and who are racists and I mean I've always known that but it's scary to be reminded of it no matter how well you know it um, One of the major debates, because in my family we debate about politics and political things all the time. And the major thing we debated after watching that movie was, um, like right in the beginning, the main character, she says that she doesn't, she doesn't argue with Holocaust deniers because she just, she won't even argue with them. She doesn't care, she won't argue with them. So. Um, one of the main like debates was whether or not that's a good idea, whether or not that's a good thing. And from personal experience as far as arguing with people who, who deny racism or who deny any kind of bigotry, I agree with her. You just shouldn't argue that in order to have a debate, there needs to be A, some kind of respect and B, a basic level of intelligence. And, you know, you have to acknowledge facts exist. You got, the fact is that people don't change their minds. People never change their minds. If someone's racist and they wanna be racist, then they're gonna be racist. Back to makeup, I'm using the Givenchy translucent powder loose translucent powder and I'm gonna set my under eyes etc with that but okay basically what I was saying is that people are all, people who don't want to be People who don't want to change their mind or people who don't want to be educated about something, they're never going to be. That's to say that racists will always be racist and I do believe that people can change. I won't even deny that at one stage in my life I was a white feminist because I didn't know any better. But people educated me and I think that often through education you can improve and you can change your views and things like that but there are certain people who are just too bigoted to to listen to you I'm gonna wipe this away now I know it's only been like 20 seconds but I'm impatient so okay just to make everything less intense I'm gonna do the Dior Air uh, powder. Um, I think my camera was recording. If it had wasn't recording this entire time, I'm gonna cry. But anyway, I just pressed record again to see if that's like because you know if it hasn't been recording and there's nothing I can do, it's fine. So. I'm going to do my eye makeup now and my battery's dying so I'm going to try to do this quickly and stop talking shit. Um, so I'm going to use the Naked Basics palette. I know I used this last time too but I don't have time to... Yeah. Also... This, um, I'm going to work after this, so I have to do a certain thing. Okay, so I'm taking the color Faith and putting it in the crease of my eyes. Okay, so I'm sorry my camera died, but all I did was add, um, so I was taking this color Faith in the crease, 
my camera stopped recording again. My camera keeps just randomly being like, nope, we're not gonna record. Um, okay, Varial Mascara Bad Benefit. So I am actually a little bit allergic to this, but it's the only, I can't use Better Than Sex on my lower lashes because it gets too messy. So I just have to use this. Okay, so my camera stopped recording again. It keeps doing this, I have no idea why. I think it's something to do with the memory card. So anyway, angled brush, bronzer, here. This looks like I'm doing it rather carelessly. That's because I am. Then I'm just gonna hide like my wattles under my chin. You know what wattles are like on a chicken, those things. My wattles. Go for Rocketeer by Benefit. <laughs> Lastly, for highlighter, I'm gonna take my usual, my friend describes this as a god stick forged in heaven. What's up, what's up by Benefit. I would buy this highlighter just for that pun. I'm gonna go over it with Mary Lou by The Balm. I'm gonna use that highlight, that brush I used to highlight my inner corner and etc. And I'm just gonna highlight my face over there. I'm actually going to add some highlight to the brow bone and the inner corners. Um, so, firstly, for lips, I'm going to use, because my lips are so dry, Bepanthum. Bepanthum, I don't know, it's baby butt cream. Yes. It's for nappy rash. Um, in babies but I promise you it's uh, amazing for your lips seriously better than literally any lip balm you will ever get if you use just like if you have super dry lips and you're just using chapstick I pity you you're wrong you like you need to improve, you need to step up your game there because it's not gonna cut it, I'm sorry. This was limited edition this Christmas from MAC, it's called Candy Cane, the, uh, the, the, the lipstick and the liner is Trust in Red. So the only thing about like the Panthum or that kind of lip moisturizer is that it does and it can cause your like lip liner to s to be very slippery. Oh, what a pun because I just dropped it. No, I mean the actual thing. Um, yeah, so it can be pretty slippery. I don't care, I stopped caring. Uh, just okay make sure if you're a person who does like a duck face kind of in pictures never overline your lips this is just something I picked up along the way because okay I haven't done it in this video so you can't really see but if you do that normally you can see where you've overlined your lips and it can be embarrassing so just don't do that Okay, so this is what the finished look looks like. Um, I just kind of messed up my hair a bit. Um, I like messy hair, as you can probably see. The lipstick I actually really like, even though I thought I wasn't going to. Weirdest makeup video ever. Just like spent the entire time ranting about anti-Semitism. But it's okay, it's fine. That's a good thing. Politics and makeup on social media my favorite things in the world if you like the video please subscribe 
please tell me in the comments if I've messed up, if you don't like some, the way I do something, if you don't like the way I edit something, please tell me. I'm not going to be offended. I take constructive criticism really well, so please tell me. Uh, and please, please, please subscribe and like this video and all those things. Thank you. I love you.